Did you know that over 50% of student athletes have burnout? This is a crazy high number for something that's not very talked about. I, as a student athlete, would like to talk about it because I know a little bit about it and have done some research. So I want to talk about the difference between in burnout and genders, men and women, who gets more burnout, why. I want to talk, talk about younger athletes compared to collegiate athletes and their burnout. And lastly, I want to talk about the mental, physical symptoms and just practical ways to fix burnout. So first off, talking about men and women, men and women both experience burnout. This is a fact. But the numbers and studies show that women have a higher um, higher chances of experience burnout and more severe burnout. This is according to primescholar.com. It had women experiencing greater burnout than men in numbers, uh, you know, like greater symptoms like depression, anxiety. So it is worse for women than men. So now that we've talked about what it is, you know, the basics for men and women, I want to move into the differences between the youth and the collegiate athletes. So for college athletes from the NCAA.com, they've done, or .org, they've done a, their own research on it, you know, the National College Athletic Association. And they said that over 47% of college athletes experienced burnout during their season. It's over 50% of college athletes. You know how many college athletes, there's so many college athletes out there. And then the other uh, 66%, they feel overtrained during their season. That is the, over the majority of college students. And there's so many out there, and this is something that is a serious issue. And then next, I want to talk about the youth. So the youth, um, according to childrenshospital.org, that there's many reasons why children experience burnout. It's mainly from the parents and the coaches. So, so um, coaches will put too much pressure on achievements instead of improvement. And... Um, that's something that uh, doesn't help because as a child, they're, you know, they might not always be the best. And then parents or coaches pushing like one sport or, you know, just like focusing on this all the time. And it's not fun for them anymore. So they get burnt out and they don't want to do it anymore. And then the lastly is like they don't feel the results that they're putting the work in for in their young kids. So this is understandable. So for the young kids, it's just people pushing them a little too far when it should be fun. Now that we've talked about, you know, men and women, different levels, the youth into the college, I want to talk about some symptoms for it. So some of the me so some of the mental symptoms are, you know, depression, you know, irritable, like lack of enthusiasm, appetite, and then like, you know, anxiety. Some physical, if you're overtraining or overdoing it, you'll get joint and muscle pains, you know, you'll lose or gain weight and not be able to sleep because, you know, just all this is affecting you. But there's some practical ways that someone could fix this. So first, an athlete could, you know, just take a break. Taking a break is really not a crazy big deal. Like taking a couple weeks off to just fully mentally understand what happened, how you can bounce back from it, and realign why you're doing what you're doing, why you love what you're doing. Next, if it's really bad, I would suggest talking to a therapist. They're professionals at what they do, and they can help you work through the issues that are going on in your head and give you steps to do so you do not, you know, end up where you were. You know, practical, like, things you could do, taking breaks, having stick into a routine, and just mental steps so you don't get anxious or depressed. So now that we've covered everything, athlete burnout is a very serious topic, and it needs to be talked about more, and just people just need to be formed on it. Parents... Uh, athletes themselves so they do not find themselves in the circumstances where they don't want to play the sport that they've been doing their whole lives or that they love so now we thought we covered the you know the, the the different genders of it and everything uh remember sports are fun sports should be fun for everyone to play and it shouldn't hurt your mental and physical health and if it's starting to then you might bounce back but now that we've covered everything the uh, people can be more aware of athlete burnout and they won't force themselves or their kids to do something that is not good for their mental health. Thank you.